What's up, you guys? Marty Schwartz here of Marty Music. Thank you so much for the continued support, subscribing, liking the video, sharing the videos, leaving comments, all that stuff. I really, really appreciate it. And in this lesson, we're going to break down one of my favorite little scale devices. It's the Ultimate E Blues Run. That's what I call it. It's the E Blues Scale. We start at the lowest possible note, the open E, and we get all the way up into this BB box way up here. And it's a great little device to transition uh, up and down the neck in the blues. So I think you're going to dig it. Anyway, enough of that. Let's just zoom in and get to it. Here we go. All right, I like to call this my ultimate E blues run. Uh, it's using elements of the extensions of the minor pentatonic that we've been working on for a while here at Marty Music. But this is a way to start with the lowest E string and then get all the way up to the BB box. <laughs> You know, lowest note all the way up right to that BB box. And we're really thinking of it as the E blues scale, which is the E minor pentatonic with the blues note. And the idea of this is you can think of this as a little device to be able to climb up and down the neck, but it's not necessarily turns your fingers into a guitar solo. This is like the uh, freeway to get lost in little spots to come up with licks. So anyway, we start with the open E, and we go third on the, on the E there, then we go ring on the fifth. Then the blues note happens on the sixth, and then the seventh. So, and the way I like to pick that little run with one finger is pick, and then when I get to the sixth, I pick it and then slide. And on the way down from there, you can go ring, middle, index, and then, and remember when you get that open E, you can be right in that open E minor pentatonic, which is so great for the blues. So here it is again, open, three, five, six, seven. Now we're in this great A root E minor pentatonic extension. So it would be, always know where your roots are. So, so far we've hit the open E. No root yet again. And we're gonna hit it right now, five to seven. And the seventh fret on the A string is our root again. Five, seven. Now five, seven again on the D string. And then we're gonna do that same technique. Seven, eight, slide to nine. And then the three finger on the way down. Open three, five, six, seven, five, seven, five, seven, eight, nine on the D, and then we're going to go seven, nine on the G. So that is something that is very worthwhile to practice. That would be nine seven nine eight seven five seven five seven six five three zero zero three five six seven five seven five seven eight nine seven nine. So that's the root again, the ninth of the G.
Okay, let's keep going. We're gonna transition to our index finger on the B string, the eighth fret. Then we're gonna do the exact same technique again, 10 and then 11 slide to 12. But just be sure we're setting our hand up to make this flow. And by doing that, on the way down here, 12, 11, 10, 8, we got to use our ring finger on the 9 of the G if we're setting ourselves up to keep going down. Now, does that mean you can't use your middle finger? No, um, because I will. But if I'm gonna start working down, I switch it to my ring finger. And then finally, we do a 10-12 on the high E, and we're back at the E root again. Which means that it, in some way, some naturally organic way, I can switch my ring finger to my index right there, and now I'm in my favorite position of the minor pentatonic. and then its extension, which gets us to the index finger on the root again, which would be the 17th fret, and that's where all the BB box stuff is. So let's work going down Descending this uh, ultimate E blues run by using our ring finger, we're going to start it with our ring finger on the 12th fret of the high E. So 12, 10, 12, 11, 10, 8, ring finger on 9 of the G, 7, 9, 7 on the D, but actually it's the blues note, so 9, 8, 7. That's the D string, then the five, then ring on the root, which is seven of the A, then five, then seven, six, five, three, O. Oh. Here it is again. wanted to, you could go from 10 to 12 on, with your index instead of with your ring. You can do it either way. But if you do it that way, then now you're in here and you've got the classic extension. And this is not going to be the only way to go up and down the neck. But I found that this was really helpful to me. And I don't, don't confine yourself to this, but just practice it. Uh, it. It helped me so much. You know, just let it flow out and go through all those shapes. And then when it's time to really improvise, 
that stuff's been programmed in in your muscle memory and your head so much that then you can kind of you know get lost in it forget it you know it's so ingrained and then you forget it or look for licks that are in each of those little spots and then you have a way to flow up into another thing like um you know like if i had a lick like this I could climb into it. Backtrack where I repeat parts of it. there it was thanks so much if there's a lesson you'd like to learn a technique a scale thing anything at all go ahead and let me know in the comments because i'm trying to give back to you guys i want to give you what you want so that's great feedback lets me know what you guys are all working on and i really appreciate that so hope to see you in another video real soon have a great one and uh, keep jamming see you later mm -hmm.